Hey guys, this is me, Narell here, and welcome back to a new video. This video is going to be very much so a cute one, because it's going to be a fine liner, multi-liner review video for you guys. So in this video, I will be talking about the Micron PN pen, which if I turn around right, um, you can see. So this is the Micron that actually has the plastic nib, and not the metal nib. So that's the first one. And the second one I will be reviewing is the Ohuhu Multi-Liner Set. Yes, this looks like a hot mess because, again, I've used these. So, of course, they're not going to look as pretty as they came. So they look like this. And they have Ohuhu written on it if my computer can pick it up. As you can see, Ohuhu's there. You open it up like that, and that is what the pen looks like. So, um, yeah. So, all I have to say before I get into the review part is that I have very mixed reactions with these pens, and very much so mixed but similar emotions with these pens. So, um, without further ado, continue on with the video. Alrighty guys, so I'm just going to start off with the Micron PN pens first because this pen is actually really cool. So I'm just going to start off with the cooler one first and save the irrelevant one last. <laughs> so um, PN and the Micron PN pen actually stands for plastic nib. So the nib on these is actually made out of plastic and not made out of the metal with the nib sticking out. And I thought that was actually really cool. But I'm going to get into why I thought that was really cool. So I'm just going to start off with my review first. And anything I have to say will be after my thoughts and opinions. So like always, I always start off with my dislikes first. Because. I like to get the negative things out the way and then end off with the positive things. So, um, one thing that I didn't like about these pens is that these pens do fade. On the packaging, it does say fade proof and all that stuff. And I really want to point it out to you guys. Do not believe what they say on the packaging because half, half of the time is not true. These pens do fade. Um, granted, I did erase my pencil lines um, a little bit after I did it. Not like two seconds after, but I did wait about 15, 20 minutes, maybe 30 to erase my pencil lines. And I erased this with a high polymer eraser, which is actually a really good eraser. And when when I was erasing the lines, the lines actually faded a little bit. So it's not like so bad that the black ink turned gray, but the ink did get a little bit lighter. So it does fade. But for me personally, it's really not that big of a deal because you know, you can always go over it later if it's that much of a big of a deal. That didn't make sense. If it's that much of a problem, you know, you might not like it. But if it's not a problem, you can just easily go over over the lines again and your Gucci. Um, another thing that I didn't like is that um, this pen only comes in one size. To my knowledge, um, these pens would be bay.com if they came in bigger sizes because it actually is very hard to work with one size nib that the nib is really small. It's not small to the point where you can't see your line. I think in like a micron sense, it's probably like a 0 0.3 but it's thin and I feel like if you have bigger sizes you can easily get a variation of lines easier and like me I like doing my lines and I like doing my darker lines around the character but then again I could easily get another liner to do that but it would be cool if I could do that with all one liner <laughs> if I kind of get where I'm go thinking going in like a narrow line <laughs> but I do kind of wish they did come in separate sizes um I don't know what it is within these in the Ohuhu liners these pens died within like one use of them I am very heavy handed when I line but I've never had microns or liners die on me when I line my artwork like usually they last a very long time 
time. But after like one use of these, they died. And I'm like, okay, maybe it's just the way I'm storing them. So I left them like upside down overnight. And still, they're dead. And I'm like, really? Maybe I got the old batch of them. Maybe what I got is like what they had like in the storage room for like 50 years. And that's just what I got. But I don't know. It just kind of wowed me that I'm like, wow, did these pants just die after you use them once? So I would actually say just kind of watch out if you're heavy handed because I don't think these pants can last someone that, you know, he you know, holds them heavily and uses it heavily. But, you know, that's just an experience that I experience now. And maybe later on down the road, I probably wouldn't waste my money on these pens again because I just don't want to sit here and buy pens and have them die on me within one use of them. So that is one thing that I really didn't like about these pens. But overall, that's all of my dislikes. It really wasn't much, but those are just these specifics in which I wanted to talk about. So moving on to my likes, which is a lot. So you know, guys, it gets better from here. So um, what I liked about these pens is that they're very easy and comfortable to use because I thought since the nib was made out of plastic, it would have a totally different feel. But oh no, guys, these pens are like legit better than the OG Microns because a lot of people complain that the nibs break on them but I am here to say guys these pens will save your life because they are so much better than the original microns and I would say get these above them because again they're very easy and comfortable to use and honestly I recommend them over the original microns by a milestone the second thing I liked about them is that the ink when it lays down it's amazing it's nice it's rich it's black I love it and it glides over the paper very smoothly and I like that a lot so yes um, and I colored Alka who I'm drawing in this I colored him with colored pencil because I know certain liners um, uh, they react to different mediums so for Alka I decided to color it with colored pencils because I wanted to see if the if color pencils go over this liner uh, very easily and to my knowledge it really doesn't the lines stand up to color pencil and none of the lines faded within me coloring over it a lot so that's one thing I would say that's good about these you don't have to worry about your lines blurring out if you put color pencil on top of them um, so yeah and these pens are waterproof I tested these with water they are waterproof so if you guys are watercolor artists out there these will not bleed out like they are waterproof they're safe to use but I know a lot of people line their art um, after they finish the watercolor layers. I personally don't do that because that's more effort than I want to do in my art. But for all of you guys that are like, oh my gosh, will this bleed when I finish my stuff? No, it won't bleed. So that is literally my likes and my dislikes about um, this pen in general. So getting into the drawing, um, obviously I lined this drawing with the Micron PN pen and I'm coloring this with my Crayola erasable colored pencils because I love these guys. I highly recommend them. I love the sketch with them and then I really love the color with them. You can get seamless blends with these pencil guys a lot of people are like mm, I don't know if I want to try it but guys look I'm getting a nice blend with these they're very good so please get them if you guys just want something more cute to draw with and color with because honestly guys they are amazing and for the artwork I actually drew my character Alka he is a vampire a pure bled pure, pure bled pure bread <laughs> vampire at that and I drew him when he was younger so in his early teens um era <laughs> um because you guys are normally used to seeing him older with like the choker and all that stuff but this is him when he was younger he's actually trying to eat a strawberry because um Alka is very used to drinking animal blood and human blood so he literally is used to that but his younger sister Dea she's not a fan of it she's like 
like, don't hurt the animals, don't hurt the humans, it's bad, Alka, please, you know, get used to strawberries. And when Alka was way younger, he actually did eat strawberries to quit his thirst for blood, because when they were younger, um, their elders of the vampires were like, hey, you're too young to go after actual animals and people, so just eat strawberries. And Alka got tired of it, <laughs> he hated strawberries, so when Dea's like, please eat strawberries, brother, he's like, oh my gosh, Dea, I don't like them, but for you, I will. So that's the reason why he's struggling just to eat the um, strawberry. And I actually put blood on his hands because I feel like he accidentally would go out and eat, not eat, but you know, suck on the animal's blood. And for Dea not to notice him doing that, he would actually eat a strawberry to cover it up. And you know, Dea probably would catch him because she is sharp in her sense of smell. But for Alka, he's like, crap, I need to eat this. So I thought it was really cute. And I'm like, bruh, I love this. It's cute. Um, Alka looks adorable trying to eat that strawberry. But um, yeah, so that's this drawing. Um, I hope you guys like it. I actually made this a free coloring page, which will be up by the time this video is up. So go to my Divine Art to get the coloring page of Alka and now, yeah, because I know a lot of you guys like coloring my drawings. So just go get them from there if you guys are interested in coloring um, these characters. Um, you guys are more than welcome to color the characters outside of their color palettes. So if you think Alka will look better as a blonde than a purple head, um, please color him with blonde hair. <laughs> so yeah, this is it for Alka. So now we're going to move on to Naoya, who is actually the drawing that I did with the Ohuhu liners and is actually colored with alcohol markers. So let's move on to the next drawing. Alrighty guys, so now we're going to move on to the Ohuhu fine liner side of this video. So like I did with the Micron PN pens, I'm just going to go ahead and get started with my breakdown and opinions about the fine liners and everything else I have to say, I'll say after um, everything I have to say about the pens. So I'm just going to start off with the dislikes first. So um, one of my main dislikes that these pens share with the Micron PN pens is that they died really fast like guys again i don't know what was up with this um set that i got from the ohuhus and the microns like all of the pens died i think out of the ohuhus the only one that is actually alive right now is the brush pen everything else is dead and i'm just like bruh i spent literally almost ten dollars on this like why why <laughs> so that's one thing that kind of irked my gears about it um, the second thing that I really didn't like about these pens is that they bled really fast. Like, if you will put a, a line down, the ink will spread out. I don't know if it's just because I was using cardstock, but I've never had a pen bleed out like that on cardstock. Like, all of my liners do really well on cardstock, but for these pens, they did not like cardstock paper, so they bled really bad, and I actually had to use a liner um, that size was lower than a size that I was using just to get the line to be cute and perfect so I thought that was kind of like a mad to me because I didn't want to make I didn't want to have more trouble than I needed to have with these liners so um, I guess depending on what paper you use these on um, just beware that these do bleed out a little bit um, and another thing that I didn't like about these is that these also faded as well I think any fine liner will fade a little bit but some will fade more than others but these faded quite a bit that I had to go over my lines when I actually finished the liner of Nalia just to kind of get the blacks to be more prominent <laughs> in the drawing so um yeet so I think that's literally the only main dislikes that I had with these pens themselves so going to the likes which is actually kind of good um one thing Thing that I really liked about these pens is that they have a lot of different sizes it's not one size like the micron pen pens you get all different sizes so you guys have more of a variety to work with when it comes to nib sizes 
Um, another theme that I really liked is the ink. The ink is very nice. It's very rich and black. And it's very smooth on the paper. So I like that. Um, another thing that I liked about these pens is that they're very comfort comfortable and very easy to use. They are small. Like you have the top. If you take the cap off the pen, they're very tiny, so I don't know, I feel like I have to kind of grip it a little bit just to kind of keep it steady, but I feel like if they made the pen barrel itself a little bit longer, it would have been really cute, but they're cute, they're literally cute, adorable pens. Um, and another thing that it shares with the Micron PN pens is that these are waterproof as well. So for all of you watercolor artists out there, these will work against watercolor. They will not bleed out. So yeah, and for now, yeah, I actually colored him with some markers. And do I see any bleeding within the markers? I would have to see right quick. Um, in some lines, they do kind of bleed out, but cer certain lines, they don't so I think if you layer the ink um, over each other a little bit the, the lines will bleed a little bit because I guess you have to let the ink dry for like 30 days for the ink to settle on the paper but other than that it worked for fairly well with alcohol marker and I didn't even use all of hoo hoo I used other brands as well and it worked perfectly well so um yeah I'm very happy and very like um I'm very like content with how these these pens work with the supplies that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. So um, for the person I am actually coloring now, yeah, who is actually Naru and Chio's son, um, this is actually a redraw of him because if you guys didn't know, I did a video teaching you kind of how to draw a face my way, but I technically use Naoya as the guinea pig to explain that. So if you go back to find that video, I redrew that image. So yeah, this is what that was. I actually had footage of me explaining how I drew this but I'm like you know what I don't want to do that I'm just going to use it as a video so this now your drawing was intended to do, be used for something else but then I just made it for this video so yeah so um before I get into my final thoughts um I just wanted to say that um trying out new art supplies is actually very fun I've just been in a really weird art rut where I just kind of felt stuck using my art supplies that I've used for a very long time and just branching out to get new fine liners or anything of the sorts actually made me happy to see hey what can I do with these supplies how can I integrate them in my own art that I do every single day and I will say buying new art supplies is fun I don't really buy new art supplies that much anymore because I've kind of got all set in what I like to use what brands I like to use and if my pens do die on me I'll just buy new ones I just kind of work my way around that but I don't really buy art supplies every single week because I don't need all those supplies um, I kind of got what works best for me but um, in terms of these fine liners would I buy them again I don't know I don't want to sit there and be mean about these supplies because I'm pretty sure other people have these same exact art supplies and they work good for them but for me personally um, from what I observed I really love Love the effects of these pens I love how the ink was smooth and I love how it was easy to glide with them over paper but the stress of them dying on me literally without me using them for three or four drawings I feel like I don't need the stress of these pens <laughs> just to enjoy my art so I feel like I wouldn't buy these pens again because I'm just like bruh like I spent almost like $18 on these pens and both of them died within me using them for these two pictures so that just kind of says something so I might just go back and order the pen that I really like um, and just be happy that I know that won't die on me so um, I actually use the pen the Rotring Tiki Graphic Liner that's one of my favorite multi-liners 
in the universe to use because it's nice, rich, and black. Um, the pen dries really nice. Um, being heavy-handed as I am, it lasts a very long time, and I don't have to worry about it giving me as much stress that I need to get. And also, the Rotary and Tiki graphic pen is kind of pricey. I think one by itself is like $7. So they are expensive pens, but they work like miracles. Alrighty, but that's pretty much it for my review part of this video. So I will come back at the end for my closing thoughts. But I just thought this was a very cute video for you guys to see because I don't do videos like this as often. So yeah, this is my review of these pens. And I hope you guys like the two speed paints I did for this video. So um, I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Alright, bye. <laughs>